Now, I want to switch gears here back to uh, your face tattoos. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to your face tattoos, what's the public reaction you get from strangers in your city, outside your city, traveling maybe to another city? Even before I got signed, I had the face tattoo. I been had the tattoo before I got signed. Uh, before you look at me, like, I'm like, he look crazy. All that shit feel like, what the fuck? When I got signed, they like, we like them tats. You know what I'm saying? They look good on you. Now they look good on you. I got signed. Hold. Come on, man. Before I got signed, y'all think this shit look crazy. Like, I'm just a hot ass boy. Up no good. But now I got. We like that you're doing good. Your face tag look good on you. Like, man, come on, man. It's cap. Need be cap. Bitch be cap. You know, I just find it funny. And I already made a video about this. This is going to be part three. Money is a game changer, part three. You know, because I just find it funny. So it's like this, you know, when you're broke and, and you dress bummy, people say, damn, nigga, you dressing bummy. Damn, nigga, you need to fix this, fix that. But when you dress rich and, you, you know, and dress bummy like J. Cole. Oh, well, you know, J. Cole is just J. Cole is just frugal with his money, you know. He's just frugal with his money. You know, J. J. Cole knows not to waste all his money on, on expensive clothes. But why is it when a broke person dressed like J. Cole, he gets looked at and judged because people think he's homeless or, or people think he's broke. But J. Cole can dress, you know, not have his beard lined up sometimes and just have his dreads nappy. And all, all of a sudden it's fine because he's J. Cole. Because he's J. Cole is fine. Let, let a regular nigga dress like that. Damn, nigga. Oh, my God. Yo, is he homeless? You want to judge the motherfucker for how he look. But let it be a famous person. Oh, it's cool now because th this person's famous, right? Or, or like, or okay. Or like Chris Williams, what he said. If you're broke and you're quirky or whatever, you're quirky, you have your quirks or whatever. You're weird. Oh, he's a weirdo. Oh, my God. Look at his little shit. He nigga's weird. But when you're famous and weird. Oh, he's quirky. You know, you know. Oh, he he or she's different. Oh, she's different. He's different. You know, they're they're different. You know, they're they're unique. But before the fame, you know, they were weirdos. I mean, I just find it funny. You no. Know? I just, I didn't like, I just find it funny, you know, that, what, what what's, what's something else? I mean, it, it's, it's essentially anything that you do when you're famous is praised, but if you do it before the fame, you know, you, you'll get judged for it, essentially. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if there's any more examples yeah, I just find it funny. It's just the moment you get more, um, okay. And then let's just move on to this, right? So, but if, if you look at uh, rappers' girlfriends before they got famous and the girls after they got famous, it's completely different. Completely different. They was dating below average to average women. They, they was not dating Instagram fine model women. They was not, bro, they was not dating that. Like, damn, like Instagram fine, fat ass, big tits, thick as shit. No, they were dating average or below average women. Regular girl that you'll see outside or, or, or below average woman. For example, Lil Durk. Nigga, he got a... A fat, a fat white baby mama. Well, I think nowadays, well, as of right now, I don't think she's fat no more. But, but, but when she was, but when he was fucking with her back then, fat white baby mama. You know, completely unattractive to me personally. But then now he got India. Now, look at both of them and see how this nigga upgraded, at least physically, because just because you look better. And looks are subjective, but just to my interpretation, you know, he 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 upgraded. You know, a lot of these rappers when they get on, they they upgrade. 
and they don't even date the same caliber of women of women no more. Now, obviously, you know, a person can break up with somebody, you know, and, you know, and and uh, and a lot of people, they want to say, oh, women, women, women are hypergamous, you know, women will date a man that got more money than you. Well, if we're, if we're going to talk about hypergamy, some of these men are hypergamous because they, they, some of them get successful and they don't even date the same kind of women no more. They, they upgrade to more attractive women. So that's an example of male hypergamy. You know, I don't even want to talk about the hypergamy shit, but that's an example of male hypergamy, basically, if, if you want to talk about that. Oh, yeah, you know, but yeah, before I was famous, you know, I just dated a regular girl, wasn't thick, did, didn't have a fat ass, big tits, just a regular average looking woman. Now I'm rich. Now my bitch got a fat ass, nigga. She got all the, you know, psh, all this shit popping, you know, that, you know, now they have more access to these kinds of women. I think even Young Thug, his, his baby mom was just, you know, was before the fame, just she she was like, all right, you know, now the girl you talk to now is just fine as shit, right? I'm telling you, you know, and I, and, and, you know, and I don't know the, I don't know the circumstances for why they're not together with their original baby mama, but if they left because they got more women, got new women, that's just ridiculous. Cause that's fucked up. I wouldn't leave a girl who stuck with me when I was broke and then try to get these bitches just cause they, and be with them cause they look better. That's just stupid. To me, that's just stupid. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to leave my baby mama, you know, who stuck with me before I got all this shit. And I'm going to go fuck with this bitch because she looked better. That's just not. Nah. Nope. I ain't doing that shit. You know, now there are some rappers who actually stuck with their, you know, their first or like their, um, their, uh, uh, like their girlfriend before the fame, but let's keep it real. All these niggas, they, most of them or all of them, they definitely was fucking other bitches on tour and stuff like that. I mean, you, all of them are going to have did it. I mean, I don't care. I, I don't give a fuck who it is. Even LeBron, LeBron stuck with his, you know, girlfriend before he got famous and shit. You can't tell me that he wasn't at least fucking some of these bitches, you know, on the road. It's, it's, you can't tell me none of these niggas haven't done it, but at least he still was like, okay, I'm gonna give this bitch some dick, but I'm gonna still be be with her though, you know. But hey, it's, it, yeah, they're all gonna sleep with somebody. It's, it's gonna happen, you know. But hey, at least they still stuck with him though. But yeah, it, it, you know, I, I, I like like I just find it funny that money changes everything. Like I said, you dress bummy, you got when you're rich. Oh, he's being frugal with his money. You just bummy, you broke. Oh, this nigga bum ass. But man, look at your outfit, man. You know. You weird and you broke? Oh, you're a weirdo. You're man, you're weird. You weird and you got money? Oh man, he's quirky, man. He's different. You know, he's man, he, he he's so unique, man. He's different from the rest, man. Yeah. He's a man, he's a genius, man. You know? You know, like like I just find it funny, like, or or if you're smart, when you're smart and you're broke, oh fuck out of here. I ain't trying to listen to you. You get Famous and, and and you say something, people listen because you have that status. You you have that status. You you uh you have that popularity, so people are gonna take a listen. Like and for example, like and, and I always said this in the past. If I said something about uh you know government corruption, no one's gonna listen because I'm not famous. But if LeBron says that, some people may listen. Oh, yeah, LeBron, he he's spitting, man. Yeah, LeBron, that nigga spitting. But I but but I said the same thing he said. Yeah, but you're not as popular as him, so we ain't gonna listen to you because you ain't popular and you're not rich, nigga. Fuck you, right? <laughs> it's fucking stupid. It's just, it's just funny, you know. It's 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 just funny, right? Like, it's just, like I said, like, these niggas, like I said, you know, they even have access, like I said previously, like, they have access to more attractive women. 
You know? Even I was talking to a, a girl on the phone a few days ago, like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Do you think Beyonce would have got with Jay-Z if he wasn't Jay-Z? Do you think she would have got with him if he was just a if if he was still in 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 Brooklyn? You know, didn't make it yet, and he the A would say, A B what's up? Check check me out real quick. She say, Oh hell no. But but because they was, but because they had you know they was like around the same level of status, and he was popping, she was popping too. But because he had, because he had a name he had a name attached to him. She's like, okay, what's up? I mean, I just find that funny. I just find that funny. Do you think Jay-Z would get a Beyonce caliber type of woman if, if he didn't blow up? Fuck no. You know, you know I like shit. I mean, I just find that funny. Now, you know, as of now, you know, I'm pretty sure Beyonce loves him. But that's because, you know, she, but, she, but she, she only gave him a chance because of his status. And then she grew to love him. But if he did not have that status and that name attached to him. My name is Hove. She wouldn't have gave him a shot. And I, I just find that funny. To me, that's funny. It's funny. Yeah, I'm telling you. A lot of these, these niggas, man, I'm telling you, dog. Some of these rappers, they was not dating Instagram fine women before they got famous, man. I'm telling you. They was not dating. They, they was not dating. They was not uh, having Instagram fine women. It was Instagram. Wow, that's just fake anyways. Photoshop, makeup, all that shit. But there, 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 there's still some fine ass women. That these niggas would not have got if they was just a regular nigga on the street. Right now, I'm I'm just a regular nigga, right? No, I ain't rich. Don't got a lot of money. I'm just a regular nigga making videos on my phone, motherfucker. <laughs> got a job like everybody. I'm just a regular motherfucker. Right? These niggas was not getting badass bitches before they got popping, man. It's, it's, it's really funny. It's just funny how when, when you get a, a more dollar, everything surrounding you changes. Now you get more praise for shit that was deemed, you know, that people judged you for in the past. You know, it's just funny, you know, R rapper has a face tat is cool because, oh, he's a rapper. You know, he's, you know, you know, you know, you know, he, you know, he's a pop and SoundCloud rapper. If you if you if, if you're just a regular person with a face tat. Oh my God! Why'd you get that? Right? Just funny, man. You get money, and everything, everything that everything that surrounds you, it changes. Now people praise it. Now, there's even a nigga. His name was uh, I forgot his name. Uh, I I saw one of his interviews. His name was uh, Little Got It, Little Got It, or some shit. And he said some shit like, he said that before he got famous and he had face tats, people judged him for it. And then he got successful. Now people praising the face tats. That's all that it is, man. You get bread, you get praise. But do that same shit before the bread? Oh, man, man, what the fuck you doing, man? Oh, man, man, what the fuck you doing, man? Fuck out of here. That's all I got to say I'm out.